in 2016, Americans voted for change in the White House. And they got change. The kind of change I don't think that they anticipated, but here we are. We are sandwiched in between two crises. Healthcare has claimed 105,000 American lives because of a virus, the coronavirus, a pandemic. And the president did a lousy job of initially managing this situation. At first he said it's a hoax. He blamed the Democrats, among others, Chinese. But when he finally took some kinds of actions, it was too late and often too little. And so we have a death rate that keeps going up and the near future indicates a continued trend. And now we have thousands of people protesting on the streets of America. And the reason one rotten cop, his knee, a black American and nine minutes. A murder in plain view. And it was, a, it was an event, a crime, that shocked this country. And so we have thousands of people protesting all over this country, in cities and in our neighborhoods. There has been items of vandalism and violence. That is not a right, but it is a right to peacefully demonstrate, and that has predominated. Again, the president was faced with a situation, a crisis to manage, and again, he hasn't done very well, not for America. He even suggested releasing vicious dogs to break up crowds of demonstrators, of protesters. There was an incident across from the White House at a historic church where vandals did do some destruction. It was terribly wrong. It, was, it is a, an historic site. The president decided he would visit and look and see what what was there. And so crowds of peaceful demonstrators were tear gas to clear the way for this president to walk over to be in front of this church, Bible in hand, for a photo op. Those aren't my words. Those are the words, that is the description given by the bishop of that Episcopal church, a photo op. And that bishop also accused the president of inflaming the situation that's going on all over this country. So here we are, squashed by two crises. The president himself has put his knee 
on our values. He's put his knee on our health and safety. He's put our knee, a knee, on our justice system. He's put a knee on truth. He's put a knee on press freedoms. Is it change? Yes. Will it change in November? That remains to be seen. I'm Mark Lansman.